Monarchs shaking hands with St. Francis coaches just moments before the game. The Monarchs got going in the top of the second with runners on. Hannah de Guzman comes through with the base hit plating Lauren Lozano to give Mitty the 1-0 lead. Top of the third, the Monarchs continuing where they left off. Pitcher Savannah Smith connects. The ball is dropped in shallow center. Hannah Edwards is plated. Monarchs up two. Mindy not done in the third catcher, Julia Lucas liking what she sees. Lucas knocks this one deep to center. It's going to roll to the wall. Lozano and Caitlin Stewart cross the plate. Mitty up four. The Monarchs not going to leave anyone stranded. Mariah Dewey turns this into a single. Chrissy Miyahara adds on to the Mitty lead. Top four, the Monarchs back at it. Hannah Edwards rips the ball to the wall. Rebecca Ortiz comes in for the run, and it's now 8-0 Archbishop Mitty. And the sixth, St. Francis would make a run. Monet Guido with the hit. The ball makes it through the middle. Haley Pram and Sarah Stevens come in. Bottom seven, last chance for St. Francis. Score 9-5. The ball goes right to pitcher Savannah Smith. Smith with a routine throw to Haley Pram at first, and let the dog pile commence. Mitty wins their 15th CCS title. I caught up with the winning Monarchs after the game. They're your first ever CCS Open Division champs. Let's get to know the Mitty Monarchs. Yeah! <laughs> Lauren, Lauren, got a little closer at the end. You guys have battled with them already twice this season. Did you prepare any differently this week? Honestly, when we came out to practice every day, we came out with 100% integrity. We knew what we were up against, and we knew that we needed to come out and come out hard and hitting the ball and just everything. And it all clicked today and we're really grateful for that because we really wanted to show everyone that what we were made of and what Midi Monarchs are. And what is the Midi Monarchs program mean to you guys, especially because you're carrying on a tradition each year, 15 championships. What does it mean to you guys? It honestly means the world to us. I mean, we come out here every day for three hours and practice <laughs> our butts off. So to finally get that recognition and accept the trophy today at the end of the day. It's a great feeling. Yes, it is a good feeling. And next up, we have another Lauren with us. Senior year, what does it mean to go out on top? Oh, man, um, we want to end our year the best that we could. Um, we just want to work hard because we only we want to do is win CCS. And what was the chemistry like this year? Um, it was a little <laughs> shaky in the beginning, but we were, we pulled it together. Great, we're a great group of girls, so I love them all. And it all worked out for you guys in yeah. the end. So last but not least, Rebecca, how do you guys celebrate? You had graduation earlier today. How do you keep the celebration going tonight? Oh, we're about to have it. We're gonna party right now, <laughs> trust me. We're gonna take a bunch of pictures. But honestly, be, this being my senior year, it really means so much, because this is the only 2017 Midi softball team. And we went out with a bang, and we're all gonna celebrate after. And how grateful are you for your coaching staff, second year with Joe at the helm? What's it been like? Oh, I love my coaching staff is the best thing I I could ever ask for. Honestly, they um, they really hold us together. Practices they prepare us really well so that we end up here winning CCS. All right, let's show off the hardware. That does it for us here with the Midi Monarchs, guys. Take us out with a cheer. Yeah, three.